What's up and welcome to beautiful Jai, Taiwan. My name's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today I am taking you on a breakfast street food mission. This is my third video I've made here in Jai and that's because there's so much good food here. So let's go see what we get up to. Okay, we're at our first spot for breakfast today and we're just sitting down to have a cup of almond tea. And this is very interesting, I've never seen it before. He actually cracked a raw egg and mixed it with the almond tea and I think I saw him put a little bit of sugar in and this just looks awesome, so let's try it. Wow, oh wow, that's delicious. It's really creamy. And the egg gives it kind of like a really like thick consistency. And it has a nice nutty almond flavor. That's really refreshing and it'll wake you up this morning. Mm. So we actually ordered up two different kinds. This is just the regular almond tea without the egg. And this is such a cool spot. We're right on the side of the street here and really friendly people. So try this one. Hold on. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that one's a little more sweet. And again, just nice and nutty, really creamy and goes down smooth. Mm. Such a great way to start the day. That was such a refreshingly smooth almond tea. We are in an area called Nanmen in Jai. So definitely come uh, meet this uncle. He is super friendly if you're ever in Jai and try some delicious almond tea. All right, at our next spot here, this is such a cool little stall. We're actually inside of a restaurant, but he has this old stall that is completely wooden, and he is serving something called Tong Thai Mi Gao, which is a rice cake, cylindrical rice cake. The way that this is made is it is a steamed rice cake, and it's sort of in a cup, and at the bottom of the cup is some braised pork, usually, and then the rice is on top, and then it goes into his special steam basket. So it looks like there's some sweet sauce. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's kind of like gooey, sweet red sauce, and let's break off a piece. And it's served with this really cool kind of pick chopstick. Okay, let's try this. Okay, this is really gooey. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. It has a nice like soy sauce saltiness and then the sweet red sauce gives it a nicely like, contrasting sweetness. Okay, we're moving along and next we have ordered up a fish soup. Big chunks of deep fried fish and some spring onions and a melon and this looks really good, so let's try it. Hmm. Ooh. It's not very salty actually, but it has a nice kind of seafood fish flavor. And let's try one of these chunks of fish. And that's actually quite a meaty chunk. Let's try 
Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's really soft. Very lightly battered. And it's kind of absorbed all of the essence from that broth. Okay, that was a really good spot. I really enjoyed the Tongzai Mi Gao. Really easy on the stomach early in the morning. So let's keep going and see what else we can find. and we are sitting down for a very typical, classic Taiwanese breakfast of doujiang and youtiao. So here we have the youtiao and it is absolutely huge. And basically it's kind of like a Chinese churro, but it's not sweet, it's a little salty, deep fried dough and just turned to a crisp. And then we have something that is called xian doujiang, which is a salty soy milk. And you can see there is lots of ingredients in here. She put some little baby shrimp and then also a youtiao, uh, crushed up youtiao and then some green onions. Oh, also pork floss. And the soy milk is almost like curdled in there. And she also put some vinegar, which is really interesting. So lots of different ingredients in here and this looks really good. We're going to start with the salty soy milk and normally when I order soy milk, I actually order the sweet kind and it doesn't come with any of these ingredients. But this is also pretty good. It's quite a hearty meal. So I'm gonna try a piece out with the crunched up yotiao. And I can see some shrimp in there. All the ingredients, hopefully. Okay, I can tell this is going to be very hot, so try it. Mm. The dried shrimp have a really strong flavor, so you can definitely taste like a little bit of fishy flavor. And the yotiao is kind of soggy, completely saturated with all of the soy milk. And then you can definitely taste the vinegar as well. It gives it a nice acidic sourness. Moving on to the yotiao, and I'm gonna break this open and dunk it in my salty soy milk. All right, oh yeah. Oh, that is so crispy, you can just hear it. Okay, I've got a nice piece right here. Try this. Let's dip it in here. Try that. Mm. Wow, that really does a good job soaking up all the flavor in there. But this is nice and crisp, opposed to the yotel that was put into the soy milk, which is quite soggy. Seeing as though we're in southern Taiwan, no typical Taiwanese breakfast would be complete without a little bit of sweetness. So that's why we ordered up my favorite and that is the sweetened soy milk. And this is just the classic drink of Taiwan. Oh, it's just so smooth, nice and cold and refreshing. Really nice, typical, and hearty Taiwanese breakfast here. This is a famous spot in Jai, and this is their new location because unfortunately their old location actually burnt down. This is a very famous spot to have a fried radish dish. So let's go inside and try it out. Okay, this restaurant is serving a very unique dish. This is called tian gui, which is a fried radish cake. And this is something I've had before and love. So the way that they make these radish cakes is first they're actually steamed in these baskets right here. And then they are thrown onto the shallow fry in quite a bit of oil. 
and now you can see that she's actually topped it with an egg, a fried egg, and then a ton of what I imagine is probably sweet sauce. And we actually have two different kinds. We have one that is infused with soy sauce, so it's kind of a brown color, and then the regular radish cake, which is just the white color. Okay, let's do the taste test. I'm going to try one of the pieces of the soy sauce infused radish cake, and also try to get a piece of egg. Yep, this piece of egg here, and then get some sauce, and that looks like a good bite. Okay, let's try this. Mm. Mm. The sauce is quite salty. It almost has like a mashed potato texture, and it is a little bit sweet as well, and that egg gives it a nice like meatiness. Let's try out the white uh, radish cake without soy sauce now. And you can tell this is just golden crispy on the outside. And I gotta get some of that egg because that's really good with it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that one's um, quite a bit less salty because there's no soy sauce infused. And that time I got a piece of the egg yolk so it's nice and creamy. So far this is really good. It's almost like a fried mashed potato patty. And there's also some provided garlic sauce and chili sauce. And this is like a really nice, almost pureed garlic sauce. So I'll add a little bit of that. And there's also some chili sauce. So I'll pour some of that on. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's cut this piece off. And this is one of the soy sauce saltier versions. And just try that by itself. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, that chili sauce is quite spicy actually. Okay, those were some awesome fried radish cakes. This is my style of a restaurant. A bunch of nice aunties cooking you up some really high quality home cooked food. So I'm getting pretty full, but I think we can eat a little bit more. So let's keep going and see what we find. Okay, this is something I can never resist and that is coconut water. Such a refreshing drink, so we're gonna order one up. I can never resist a nice coconut water, so refreshing. And very friendly uncle here selling it. Mm. Oh yeah, so just like naturally sweet, a little bit warm, but right out of the coconut, it, it doesn't get fresher than that. Hello, ma. Hmm. Street side coconut water, it doesn't really get much better than that. And this is packed with so much water, I'm surprised. Mm. And it's like a little bit of pulp as well. It's nice. I, I'm sorry to all my viewers, but this is my new favorite subscriber, the coconut man. Oh. So he's gonna let me crack open one of these coconuts. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's harder than I thought. Mm. Oh yeah. No straw required.
certainly deserve this. We need to cool down and have some dessert. It is quite a hot day and we have been eating tons. And this spot is very famous for their tang yuan, which is a sweet dumpling. But we ordered up the couple of dumplings and also the shaved ice. And there is just tons of things in here. There is some barley, some taro in here somewhere, some different beans, lots of little chewies. Um, I'm not exactly sure what everything is, but I'm just gonna get a big scoop of lots and make sure to get some shaved ice. Okay, let's try this. Mm. Mm. It's nice and cold. There's lots of different textures going on there. Some are chewy and some sort of like turn into a paste. So I think there's also some red beans in there and also IU jelly, but just really nice and refreshing. Okay, so we're going to try one of the Tang Yuan, which is a kind of like a mochi ball, a mochi wrapping with a sweet filling. So two different kinds. We have one is peanut and one is sesame, but I don't know which is which. I'm just gonna try this one here. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. That's really hard to chew. But Oh, it's still warm on the inside. This one was the sesame kind. Mmm, and that's just packed with sesame seeds and a little bit of sugar. Okay, we just completely destroyed that shaved ice and it's too good. We had to order another thing at this restaurant and we ordered up a hot dish this time. And this is a soup with the same tang yen and this just smells amazing. So we've got pretty much all the same ingredients. I think this is a taro ball. We've got some red beans. And this is actually a sweet potato ball. Lots of different chewies. And she just told us that the long shaped one, so this one right here is the peanut. And then the more spherical one is the sesame seeds. So I think I like the sesame seeds better. Maybe I'll just try the soup first. Mmm. Whoa, really sweet. It's almost like a maple syrup, and nice and hot. Okay, let's try out this peanut dumpling. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. Whoa, it's just like peanut butter on the inside. This isn't as chewy as the last one because it's warm, and it's kind of like more creamy. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, just finished off with our amazing homemade sweet dumpling soup and shaved ice. I particularly like the shaved ice kind. It's nice and refreshing on this hot day. And this place is an institution here in Jai. Super famous since 1979. Definitely try it out if you're here. And I think that concludes our tour today. There are so many good foods. I especially love that almond tea we had. And this was probably my second favorite. That was awesome. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me any questions in the comments you have below and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Mm. I didn't get it. This spot is serving up a very interesting dip. <laughs> <laughs>